understand this. But I sure got something, didn't I? He's talking to me. All because I heard a word. Go. Just go. That's all I needed. Don't go and then you'll hear this one and then you'll love that song and that'll mean something to you. And then you go back and then somebody else is going to tell you something. No. And I didn't even question it. I just went. Didn't even know why. Amen. Glory to God. Then I went back the next time. It was so good. And got filled with the Holy Ghost. Man, a lot of things is happening here. Quick. Went and heard a song. Bless my heart. Went and got a word. Bless my heart. Scared the life out of me, really. Well, that's, that's the wrong expression. Scared the darkness out of me. They met me at the back door and said, God's calling you to the teaching ministry. I said, no, he's not. Scared me so bad, I just want to take off running. From who, me? Not me? No way, no, I can't do that. That's the first thoughts that comes to you. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Whew, not me, no way. He said, yeah. And it won't come overnight. Well, I went out this time, I was scared. But you know what? That was God. And later on in, in just a few days, the peace of God come on me so strong, it was just amazing. Oh, oh. You're calling me. You're calling me to teach a word. I don't even know your word. <laughs> But it seems so good and seems so right and seems so peaceful that it was awesome. And from hearing a scripture, Acts 1 and 8, after the Holy Ghost has come on you, you shall receive power. And I remember listening to that on the radio and I'd get down on my knees and I'd say, Lord, fill me. I didn't understand that, but it meant something to me. A little light was coming on that. Well, I can tell you for sure right now I'm not a witness. At this particular time, I'm no witness. And I can tell you for sure right now, ain't no power. I can tell you that. Hmm? I can tell you there's stuff going on that ought not be going on. And I ain't got no power. Now, you people can argue your little doctrines all you want to. But I suggest you believe what God said. Amen. Now, God's right. Amen. Well, I've been saved. Amen. I said amen. Praise the Lord. Been baptized. Joined the church. But man, I wasn't in good shape. Time has gone by. And I didn't have no power. I wasn't a good witness. I was no witness at all. <laughs> Amen. And so when I realized the Lord called me, I said, Lord, like he didn't know, I said, no, you know that no one can preach your word without being filled with the Holy Ghost. Based on what? That scripture. That scripture alone. No other. Don't need another one. I don't need 15 more scriptures to convince me that I need something Jesus said in this word. Do I? How many more do I need? Go tarry. Wait, to, wait on the promise of the Father. When I'll send him to you. And when he comes, he'll fill you. And you'll receive power to be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and Judea and to other most parts of the earth. You'll be witnesses unto me. How much more do I need? Wait, no, no, maybe it's not enough. Maybe I need more, Herb. 
wait a minute, maybe there's something else I need to know. Maybe there's uh, four or five other places that might kind of say something else and maybe I might need that. I don't need that. I have light on that scripture. That's all the light I need right now. And all what this is going to do is, is, is lead me to a place and get me in a position to be filled. I'm saved already. Now, glory to God. <laughs> so I said, Lord, nobody can preach your word without being filled with the Holy Ghost. I said, I need him. Oh, I, now I really need him. If you called me into the ministry here, and I know he has, Now I know I need him. I must have him. Whew, I need him more now than ever. Mm. So I went back again. And here I sat in the church house. And I heard these words. If you'll come, I'll fill you. Whew. Man, I'm hearing lots of stuff now. Since I made one step, one step from one word, Go. <laughs> I didn't need a, a book written. 